We want to say, you should have sacrificial service in your life. Ways in which you are loving your neighbor as yourself, according to their need. What we want to do is create a, a way that you can enter into that with ministries that we've said, if you volunteer in these areas, you'll be achieving that. We know that the structures are good and the people are good and that they're doing good things. And also that the array covers the full scope of human dignity in life so that we're not overly focused on one thing, like we're only pro-life or we're only crossing racial lines or we only care about old people. In God's sight, all of these people have equal dignity. But it's very easy to get focused on one thing and be disproportionately focused on it and not help more broadly than that and not think more broadly than that. And then we're not thinking as broadly as God is about dignity, humanity, love, truth, gospel. The reason why we're adding some more strategic partnerships, particularly ones that you can get involved in kind of more regularly, is because we only have three strategic partnerships right now, and most of them are not designed to do things regularly. Like we have the baby bottle drive for CareNet, we have the spring workday at Hope in a Future, and these are like one-time events. They're super fun and we're not gonna stop doing it. But they also lack the capacity of really developing transformational relationships, and that's really key, both for us and for the people we're serving. So if we go um, once a year to do a work day on a really nice spring day with really fun people, the idea that that's somehow gonna kill sin and transform our character is not reasonable, right? However, if we choose to work into our, the ordinary rhythms of our schedule, showing up at Orchard Ridge once a week and going into a class or whatever that is, and to read with those same kids and to make that part of our life and to make them that important, people we don't even know, and to keep doing it and deal with whatever they say to us, and, engage in the, whatever the complexities of the relationship are, that in its sacrifice for what we don't do because we do it, and in the participation of love and activity in engaging with others in transformational relationships, when those two work together and when Jesus blesses it and works through his spirit, he will do things in us that really create transformational relationships for all four of those reasons, for the intrinsic worth for the glory of God, to change us, to serve them, and to create plausibility for the gospel for the watching world.